Hello and welcome to this CGTN live broadcast. We are coming to you live at the China International Consumer Products Expo in Haikou, Hainan Province. I am, I'm Yang Chengxi and here is my partner, Serena I'm or Doshin? Either way. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I go by Serena because it's easier to remember, I guess. Okay. But anyway, okay, hi from Serena. Haikou. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. what are we going to do today? Okay. Behind us is the uh, domestic pavilion where uh, uh, provinces in China and cities and regions bring their delegation here to show off their products and hopefully match uh, for some uh, potential business in the future. Yeah, I heard there are about like 32 different provinces and cities all brought their finest products mm -hmm. here at this expo. Mm -hmm. Now, before we go in, I have to say that today's live broadcast is powered by very high technology. So exactly. this is a translation machine from mm -hmm. iFlyTech from China's Anhui province. Mm -hmm. But in fact, iFlyTech is now probably one of the most high-tech companies yes. in the world, at least in China, yes. and that specializes in AI and speech recognition. So one of their fortes mm -hmm. is translation between the English text and not only Mandarin, but the host of uh, Chinese dialects. Yes. Okay, so here's how it works, right? So this is a new device that they are launching I think today, mm -hmm. today that they're launching this device. So uh, how so it works is that, works. yeah, it has a flip screen. Oh. So if, if I speak English, it shows Chinese on the other side. Really? I thought, now it's uh, still, oh, uh, right here. Now as a Chinese, I, I would have to say that that is quite accurate. And, but try, uh, try Mandarin, so the English will show mm -hmm. on this side of the screen. 我现在在说中文 Does it say I'm speaking Chinese now? Exactly. Exactly. So this is just how it works. Now we are joined by uh, one of the representatives from iFly Tech. Uh, let, me, let me try it this way. Can you tell us what technology this device is using? Uh, 作为一个双品的设计，然后我们通过一个流式的这么一个翻译技术，能够达到我们呃可以说是同传机的实时翻译，让交流双方的沟通更加就是能听能看，更加高效。Okay, I'll just wait for it to translate. Wow, this is very quick. Well, first of all, it is designed as a dual screen. Then, through such a translation technology, we can achieve the real-time translation of the simultaneous interpretation machine so that the communication between two sides can be more efficient. Well, that's actually very that's, precise that, that's translation. That's very accurate. I'm very that. impressed. Yeah. Um, so what kind of scenario can this be used in the future?我们可以知道在以前的翻译机可能只适用于面对面的这种交流，但是我们现在这个双频翻译机可以用用到在，比如说你在现场的演讲演说以及远程的这种听课，然后包括呃跨国商务、跨国事务中，我们面对面的交
a hairpiece industry, it, which is right, which is right here, here, on our which is right, right hand here. side. Well, okay, let's let's see uh, their hairpiece industry. It's a the, busy day, you know. Yeah. The first day here, you can we can see a lot of people. Yeah, we didn't know. expect so many people. I know. Here. I Probably thought the not. public day was the last day, but it's just imagine. I think those how are like you know, um, provincial official, uh -huh. uh, province officials and all these uh, other developer guests. And they're the I business think. delegations that yeah. they're hoping to make connections. I think so. So here we are. Here we are at the uh, Henan Pavilion, which and, uh, is the. Tell us about the uh, mm -hmm. city which yep. produce all these wigs. Yep. These wigs are made in Xuchang City in Henan Province. Actually, much of the city's economy depends on wig making. Can you yeah. believe that? This, it is the wig capital of the world. For example, this brand, Rebecca, is the world's number one selling wig maker. They sell to countries like the US and countries in Africa. They're very, uh, they're very popular there. Right. And they use not only real human hair, yeah. but also synthetic one. Yes. Shall we? Do you, do you uh, want to try one on? Yeah, why not? Since we're here. Yeah. 你好,你好。你好。我们试一下一个吧。可以试一下吗? Okay. 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 okay, I'm going to put the wig on. How about that one? Oh. I think you look good in this in this uh, pinkish, uh, reddish one. You made the decision yeah. for me, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> That's it then, we go for that okay, one. Okay, we'll go for that one. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So, uh -huh. first of all, I'm gonna. I need to remove my hair band. Okay. So let everybody see how it's done. Okay. <laughs> Should I take over now? <laughs> no, no, you're looking good. You're looking good. Okay, Julie, they'll put this uh, sort of a uh, hair net. Hair net? Oh, yeah, sure. Hair net mm -hmm. first. And. I don't feel like super stretched or like intense. Mm. I think so. If you have a little bit of a hair, you can So. Uh, so the representative is saying that if you have very long hair, you have to uh, you have to <laughs> wear the net first. So, you this company is in Xuchang. Can you tell us how Xuchang is the main economic sector in Xuchang? In Xuchang, very early, Xuchang was a city that already had the Okay. So the wig making industry in Xuchang City started uh, way back a century ago in the Qing Dynasty. So they not only make wig but also make hair pieces that are shipped to uh, many countries, especially in Africa. So uh, what are the destination countries that uh, your uh, your hair pieces sell to? Uh -huh. Okay, mainly, mainly sold in North Africa and Europe and many African countries. Okay. Should we see the uh, new Serena? Right there. You look like you're in a cyberpunk movie. Oh, really? <laughs> it's it very futuristic. Well, I have to say, the whole process uh -huh. is not like as hard as I expected. Does it feel comfortable? Yes, it's not like a super stretch or intense on my head. Actually, uh -huh. I feel good. Uh -huh. And the whole process only took like three, like two or three minutes. And do you feel like you can wear it whole day? I think so. Yeah, okay. it's pretty nice. Okay, I think I think when the camera is off, I can try one on myself. Oh, why not? Why not now? <laughs> no, 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 no. When the camera is off, nice. then I'll go. But for can it. I can I ask what's the price of this wig? This is how much? Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five 
啊，这个是我们的化纤高温丝产品，这个产品呃价位比较低一点，非常的亲民。嗯、这个产品的价格是二百九十九。哦、oh, ，it's only three hundred baht. It's less than thirty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. About pretty, about thirty. It's, about it's pretty reasonable,、dollars. I think. Yeah, because this, this is a, a synthetic a, yes, wig. Yes, synthetic. It's not real human hair. But what's、yeah. the price of a real human hair hair piece? 真人发丝的话是多少钱？呃，真人发丝的话，它会根据不同的工艺、长度、价格也会不同一点。像我们这一款的话，这款非常。For example, this one. This is real hair, by the way. 对，这个是全人发的。同时呢，像这款产品，你用了仿真头皮技术。你看，像这个这个头皮的。Looks quite real, right? Yeah. 对，非常像人的头皮一样，像自己生自己生长的头发一样。嗯。所以说，像这个产品的价格，它就会稍微高一点，要到五千多。Wow. 所以它的一个范围的话，价这种真人头发价格范围的话，大概是，呃，真人发发真人发的话，它会根据长度不同，价格也不太一样。然后是一般情况下，从三千多到七八千这个范围。哇哦！因为像这种呃纯手织的仿真头皮的工艺，它是非常精密的，所以说是呃这个也是我们目前行业内的一个顶尖的一个技术。So this is the best that they can offer. I think yeah, the I best think the industry、so. can offer. It costs several hundred dollars. Yes, completely handmade. It feels much nicer. It's, it is、And、real human hair. Yeah, yeah, but you can sell. You can see the the quality of very obvious, like very different. Oh wow. Okay, shall I take this off, or、okay. I'll just take it home with me? <laughs> 开玩笑，可以帮我取下来了，谢谢。China is the world's, I think, biggest wig maker.、Uh, it takes up about seventy to eighty percent of the world. Oh, it's okay. The world's share in wigs. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, shall we head to the next pavilion? Yes. All right. That Now we're. That was a fun experience. That was fun, right? Yes. <laughs> That was fun. There's、oh. something for your Instagram, I think. Are you? Are you、oh. not interested in Shanghai section? Oh yeah, since I、uh, since I'm based、are. in Shanghai yeah, right、exactly. now, so let's let's see what Shanghai has to offer. First of all, they have this、uh, beauty related stuff. I think、right. things are always more glamorous in Shanghai.、Yeah. I have to say. Ooh, But, we got a, quite the crowds here. Okay, let's find out what this is. So this is a.、Uh, What is it? A beauty machine. Hello. 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 然后每个维度的话，它会有相对应的，就是帮你做一个呃三 D 的链的一个布框的一个演示。然后像这样的细节的东西的话，它都可以查从里面标注出来查看。然后我们会有一个多功能，就是可以把你的皮皮肤切片拉出来看你的单、oh. 那个皮肤的切片情况，这些都可以查看。So it actually takes a 3D picture of your face and then can gauge your,、uh, for example, cleanliness and aging situation. Do you yes, dare to go in there? I'm a bit hesitant. <laughs> you, now can you see? Ah, it's okay. We can come back for this later. Okay. We can come back later. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm very not confident about that. <laughs> We have to run. To show everybody my、uh, my facial aging status. <laughs> You're fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's head to、uh, the next pavilion, which is which is、uh, Hainan Province. The、uh, Host, which is home, yeah, yeah which is the host、province. of this year's、uh, uh, consumer product expo. Yeah, I think it's right over there. Right over there. So it it, it means a lot that、uh, Hainan Province is hosting this expo, right? Because、yeah. uh, the entire province is now a free trade port,、mm -hmm. and it wants to encourage more shopping、yeah. uh, for uh, for for people all across China and even beyond. And I think that's also part of the reason why Expo is held here, right?、Mm -hmm. Okay.、Uh, now this 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 is a very big pavilion. 
right? They're the host after all. Ah, fruits. No. These are... Uh, These are, uh, I think, tropical fruits. Th yeah, those are all... Mm -hmm. So, these uh -huh. are... Uh, these are uh, lychees and these young... Uh, Oh, it has, a, it has an English name on it. Honey, honey pomelo. Wow, that's I'm a, not familiar that's a nice with name. tropical fruit. What's that? That's, this is called pitaya. Ah. This is called pitaya. Those are all tropical it's, fruits. It's, it's very new to me. I, have, I don't know what it how it tastes like. Well, it's full of vitamins, right? Yeah, I, I, I would say so. I would say so. I, yeah. I, I like lychee. Uh, me too. Yeah. But well, this, sure. is, this is the beauty of uh, China. You can have like fruits from all kinds of uh, climate zones, right? Exactly. We have tropical fruit. We have we have fruit from the Nord desert the area, yes. like for example in, in Xinjiang, they have very sweet sweet melons and All right, we're back. Uh, well, I think that's, there's a lot of people here that's yes, probably obviously. jamming the signal. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, let's let's keep this live stream going. Yeah. So here we are. Well, uh, look at all these tropical fruits. Okay. And uh, we just we, mm -hmm. we just been told we're not allowed to, to taste. But it's not the public day. Yes. Yet. But. Well, I think if anybody's interested, sale, they have though. a live stream sales event, I think, this evening. Later today, yes. You can, they, you can buy uh, some of these lychees. Yep. Now let's head over there and see what they have to offer. I think they're making porcelain uh, paintings here. Oh, this one. Mm -hmm. Right, this, this I did some homework last night. Okay. Last night. Uh, it's called Ploison, mm -hmm. if I'm pronouncing it right. Mm -hmm. Ploison is a very ancient uh, patterning and coloring technique. We see the, tec we see the artist is wearing a traditional clothing. From uh, local Haina, right? Yeah. And usually, usually you do this on a porcelain product, mm -hmm. right? So what they do is that they use copper wire to lay out the pattern. I see. And then they and then they just fill in all the colors, so it looks really really dynamic and 3D and it's floating out of the out of the surface. So you can actually see the layer between the leaves right there. Right, and right? then you can see the layers of the leaves and it's really dynamic and sti uh, sticking out. And then you can color all this after, right? Mm -hmm. After you paint. You Without. Yeah, this technique is very, very ancient. It's been very popular in China's Ming Dynasty. I want to ask you, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for 30 years. She's been doing this for 30 years. Three decades. I want to ask you, what is the most difficult thing to do? What is the most difficult thing to do? It's chasse and dianlan. What? Chasse and dianlan. It's very difficult to put it in every shape, right? And it's very difficult to put it in every shape, right? It's very difficult to put it in every shape, right? 色的过度是非要呃是要求非常精细的。Okay, so it's hard to paint it out, mm -hmm. and especially when you coloring it, yeah. it's gonna be a challenge for a lot of yeah. like new hands, I think. So, so I'm wondering how long do you have to learn to to be this good? 您学这个多长时间啊？学多久才能出山呢？五六年吧。<laughs> 
five to six years. Six five to, mm. to six years. Like if you want to be good at any art form, you usually have to take that long. 像这样一整幅画做完的话，需要多长时间呢？像这一个的话，大概半个月。半个月，哇哦 ！Takes what half a month? Half a month to finish, to finish a whole piece of this. Oh, look at this. This is a. a it's one of the finished products. Yes. 看看这个，这个已经是做好的。It's very nice. Of, oh, of, looks very ethnic. Oh, there we go. And okay. those four hang on the walls. Looks looks very ex exquisite, isn't it? Wow, this is. And they're all in very tropical theme. Okay. 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 Shows females of、uh, China's Ming ethnic group. World. 生命的摇篮，因为海南呢是世界仅存的三大热带雨林之一，巴西的亚马逊，呃，马来西亚的云顶和海南的五指山，来展示我们海南的生态文化。那么这个菠萝蜜呢，孕育甜甜蜜蜜，这个香。So those are all、uh, designated for the Hainan Expo, and it tells、uh, different stories about the Li ethnic cultures and, of course, all this、uh, rainforest here、uh, in Hainan. Very tropical looking, right? Yes. So it, so it combines a very traditional、uh, handmade technique with a very、uh, local theme that's in there. Yeah. Right. All right. Shall we? Okay, that's it for、uh, the Hainan. Uh, very, very delicious, delicious stuff. Yeah. Right. But you, Honey. But do you know that almost three fourth of the world's tomatoes were Tomato? yeah coming from Xinjiang? Really? Yes. Well, next time when you squeeze your ketchup, <laughs> when you are either in McDonald's or a Burger King, you squeeze on your ketchup. Well, yeah, that we never could thought. Probably come from Xinjiang. Yeah, we never thought that.、Uh, All these tomatoes、yeah. come from Xinjiang, right?、Yeah. All these tomato products. 你好，你好，可以给我们简单的介绍一下咱们这这次展出的产品吗？啊，我们公司呢，主要是生产呃大桶番茄酱的。啊，我们这个产品呢，它就是用咱们新疆的这个番茄生产的这个番茄原料，它也是作为一种原料进行出口再加工的。非常感谢这次消博会搭建的这个平台啊，能够让我们的这个产品呢，呃，响应国家的这个拉动内需的这个需要，呃，走向咱们国内的这个厂家还有消费者的呃市场当中。OK， let's see what it says. Well, that is a lot. It looks like Spanish. I, I picked Spanish. There you go. Do you speak Spanish? I don't speak Spanish. I speak un un poco. <laughs> Well, it's so basically, she、yeah. just introduced like、uh, yeah. all these、uh, tomatoes were、yeah. actually produced in Xinjiang. I remember、yeah. in Wurumqi, a city close to Wurumqi, and as I mentioned earlier, three fourths of the world's tomatoes are actually coming from、uh, Xinjiang. And I wonder how are these tomatoes will be shipped to? What kind of what kind of what countries will these be shipped to? 我想问一下，咱们的番茄酱一般除了“一带一路”国家，还会就送到哪些国家去输输出到哪些国家？啊、嗯，我们的这个番茄酱呢，它主要是面向这个欧洲、东南亚、中东、非洲，还有南美洲这些很多的国家和地区。哇、wow, ，so countries in the Europe, yeah, Africa, in Europe, Southeast Asia, the Middle East, Africa, Africa and South America. Wow, that's. A lot of places in the world. Yes.、Yeah. So a lot of tomatoes,、uh -huh. a lot of Xinjiang tomatoes around the world. And in fact, you've been there, right? Yes, I've been there like、yeah. a couple of years ago.、Uh -huh. I have to say, Xinjiang is actually a very, very diverse, large, and spread out uh -huh. place. Uh huh. And here, I think here at this expo, 
they are not only bringing the tomatoes here, but also one of the, another finest products mm -hmm. from Xinjiang, which is the, the wine. wine. Yeah. Uh, and the reason why Xinjiang is producing all this wine is quite obvious with all this sunshine in yeah. Xinjiang. Nine. Exactly. It's very hot there. Exactly. So it makes all the fruits very sweet, very and high in sugar. Yep. Right. That's why they also have the best grapes uh -huh. in China, I would yep. say that. Yeah. When we, when we say grapes, we, we think of Xinjiang. Yes. Right? <laughs> In China, everybody does that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, more like more in a bigger picture. I yeah. we speak about sweet fruits. We yeah. think about Xinjiang. Yeah, sweet melon, Xinjiang. Yes. Right. Tomatoes, Grape, Xinjiang. Xinjiang. Grapes, right. Xinjiang. So what grapes does is that it also can be made into wine. Yeah. So uh, these are some uh, wine products from uh, Xinjiang. This is from a local winemaker. So uh, can you tell us? Why, uh, why Xinjiang is so suitable for winemaking? So Xinjiang is why Xinjiang is so suitable for winemaking. Xinjiang is so suitable Xinjiang is so suitable for winemaking. Xinjiang is so suitable 然后把这个自然条件转化为现实的这个优质的葡萄，这是我们新疆拥有好葡萄的两大原因。Oh, they will have to. Uh, well, they will also have to work hard to uh, turn to keep their, the production yeah. going on. Yeah, well, it's 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 good for the fruit there, but it's also uh, it makes a very well, difficult working environment for the yes. people there, right? Yes. So they have also have to work hard. Uh, so can you tell us about the wine? It also it also won awards and stuff. This is this is the Gold Award, is it? Can you tell us about this wine? Yes. Uh, we in the Tangdi Xixia Lu Wine Shop, we in 2016, we won the first Wine Award for 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 the first 呃，知名酒庄PK的一个呃资本的一个酒，呃，应该说这个到了二零一八年、一九年、二零年，我们又历次获得这些大奖，呃，已经印证了中国新疆是可以出现呃出产和世界名庄相媲美的葡萄酒
Yes. Well, uh, where were we? Where were we? Huh? We're still in the <laughs> oh, yeah, we're still pavilion. In the, yeah, so you were mentioning because of the COVID, COVID-19 yeah. pandemic, because of the travel restrictions. Yeah. That's why most of the pe most people you see here are domestic consumers or like, you know, um, delegations or anything like that. But also, there's another thing. If you are not here, you can stay with the CGDN. We're going to show you all, every bit of the of the expo for the following few days. And here I have a couple of messages from you guys. You know, some of these people said, Beautiful handcraft skills. Hainan mm -hmm. Expo is a venue for all. I agree. Yes, and Hainan has also become a free trade port in making the largest special economic zone. That is correct. It is in the, the entire province, right? Yes, the entire island. Mm -hmm. And Hainan, Hainan Expo is also expand, open up, and opportunities internationally doing business in China. That's exactly the purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Stay tuned with us. Mm -hmm. So where are we now? Well, we are at the uh, Chongqing Pavilion. Oh, nice. So we're, be, we're going to be looking why, at the why car. Why Chongqing in particular? Well, it's because they've made this particular automobile. It's manufactured in Chongqing. Uh -huh. but we've seen a lot of uh, distinctively traditional Chinese stuff, but a lot of the products here are also future looking, right? Yeah. So this car What's is special called, about this? Well, it's called the SF5. Well, it's been in production, I think, for several years now. Uh -huh. However, they, ha they have had an upgrade uh, earlier this year that has incorporated the Huawei high car system, uh -huh. a high-tech interface system. And that has boosted the reputation of this car so much that it's selling very, very well right now. I think they sold about 3,000 cars in just two days. Two days. Yeah, after wow. after Huawei announced that it's cooperating with this brand by incorporating its system in there. I see. That's yeah. why they're here at the expo. Okay, so can we get inside? So can we? So can we know more about this car? Uh, what does the Huawei system do with this car? Huawei的系统可以让这个车实现什么东西？Huawei的系统可以让我们的手机跟车达到同步的状态，我的音乐和导航和各类 <laughs> 简单的说，我们过去是带着手机出行，现在我们是坐到手机里去出发。Right, mm -hmm. the Huawei's phone can synchronize with the car, like whether it's music, navigation, and what whatever apps that you're using can be put directly into the car. You can interface with it, uh, and by by simply talking to your car. So you. In the past, you're traveling with a mobile phone. Now, now you're pretty much traveling in a mobile phone. Yes, that's, that's exactly the idea why, yeah. of this car. Like yes. You can see the big screen in there. It's basically oh, looking, like a, looking like a big phone right yeah. there, right? And also, this car is being mass produced right now. Huawei, in, in their uh, press conference, they're promising to ship, ship out massively, ship on mass in, in May. Mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of the new new cars in China and abroad, uh, when they have their big press conference, they're still way, way, way below production point, right? Right. But this car, they're promising to be rolled out in May. So uh, hopefully we'll see some of that uh, on Chinese street very soon, yep. next month. Well, it says uh, right not, here. not to 50 in 1.99 seconds. That's, that's kind of... It's very okay for a for an electric for, car. Uh, uh, for a e car. Yeah. Okay. But do you know much about cars at all? Not really. Not really. I'm not not as an ex expert. Or in as fact, you. neither do I. So let's go back. <laughs> go back to the uh. ethnic stuff, right here. Uh, this is the uh, Guizhou Pavilion. Guizhou is yeah, I a, can tell that a province costumes. in it's Western so China. It's so pretty! Oh my god! It looks quite heavy on the car. Yes. 您好您这一身是哪个少数民族的服饰 so this is the um, ethnic costumes the Miao ethnic group? The, yes, yes, from Miao ethnic group mm -hmm. 这一身多重 值多少钱? 十多斤重 头上有三斤, 
so she told me the whole thing she's wearing, the whole about, pack, about, about 15 kilograms? No, about, 7 or 8 kilograms. About, I, think, I would say about 10 kilograms. 10, 10, 10 kilograms? Wow, that's... Well, well, let's say it's very heavy. It's very heavy. <laughs> and it's also very costly. Wow. Yeah, she told me the whole thing cost her about 200,000 RMB. That expensive? Yeah, wow. that's expensive. Are that's they, all, are they, are they that's all real silver. silver? I think so. It's all real silver. This is really gold, right? Yes, this is real gold. How long do you wear this shirt? Ten minutes. So it took her ten minutes, ten minutes to, to all get dressed up. put the whole outfit on, but you can you can see just how exquisite. Uh, for example, the flowers on the on the hairpiece look, right? It's just how exquisite and how detailed. Yeah. That is. 您可以您可以跟我们讲一讲这这个服饰有什么有什么意义吗？比如它这些东西有什么代表性吗？嗯，有很多的一些东西，就比如说上面有我们的一些小蝴呃蝴蝶，它是我们苗族的图腾。它是我们蝴蝶妈妈，也是一个保护的一个象征，对，也有很多的一些小铃铛，对，然后也是一个吉祥如意的一些寓意，整体整体下来，对。I think butterfly is like a mascot for Guizhou,、oh, for wow, Miao ethnic, for for Miao ethnic people. That's why you can see a lot of butterflies on the、uh, on her head right here and there. Oh, it's very nice.、Mm -hmm. I wish I could try it on, but it's too pricey. <laughs> I don't want to ruin anything or what, you know. Well, yeah, it's. Uh, it's but it's very nice to see、that. it. It's、yeah. so pretty. It's just、oh、very,、God. very good to look at. Yes, thank you. Hope next time there will be a chance to see it. Ah, oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. It's the famous、oh, nice. monkey king. The monkey king, right here. Monkey king of Chinese mythology. Yes. So what does it's it do? It's all handmade. It's a it's a it's pouch a, for fragrance. Yes, it、okay. actually smells good. Thank you very much. Wow.
We are back, but we are wrapping up right now. Yes. With a, uh, with a toast. Of bottle of Mao Thai liquor. Well, this is actually a, a very distinctive local liquor from uh, China's Guizhou province. And it's become the, the most famous liquor in China right yeah, now, it went, right? Yeah, it was sensational these yeah. years. Yeah, it's, it's been sensational. It's very difficult to uh, purchase, I would say. Yeah, I remember you did a piece. Uh, yeah. You did a piece on the uh, Baijiu, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about anything you know about Baijiu. Well, it's... Uh, well, it's very, very difficult for me at least to gulp down. It's very, very strong in taste. Yes, yeah, compared to vodka? Well, I would say it's a, it's a much more an acquired taste compared to whiskey and vodka. Vodka, yes. Yeah, so a lot of uh, foreigners might not be might not be accustomed to it, but like, you're, you're happy to try. Because a lot of pubs not, uh, outside of China is now gradually starting to offer baijiu. Well, personally, I have never ever tried a drop of baijiu, never. Really? But I, I do drink red wine and you know, champagne and cocktail and blah, 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 uh -huh. but never a single drop of baijiu. But there's an interesting uh, fact I want to share with you. You know, in Beijing, there is a cocktail, cocktail bar uh -huh. are making cocktails based on baijiu. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you can see how baijiu is like overtake the country yeah like even even people are like instead of using a vodka or like other liquor they use baijiu to make cocktails okay yeah. and actually I, I think it's, it tastes really good okay so let's say we're ending it in a very cheerful note yes yeah i want to read one last comment yeah uh, modern home designs uh, says happy to see the live stream our 2018 vacation to china was over three weeks long but not long enough thank you for bringing us here well you're welcome uh, we hope to see you again in China soon after the <laughs> pandemic is, is, is controlled. Yes. And ne the next time you're in China, maybe try uh, finding out some Baijiu. Yes, well, right. stay tuned with the CGTN for the following few days. We'll be bringing you guys all this live streaming in different pavilions. We'll bring you so much more. Yes. Well, Until next time then, cheers. Leave any questions, comments, bye. Leave us a comment. Cheers, bye.